Hey everyone, this is Lawrence Kamire from FGIC Kids News here to wish our very own Gio a happy birthday. Happy birthday, Gio! Hi all my friends, how are you all doing today? We've been talking the last few times about how God made a wonderful world for us, didn't he? He sure did. And I hope that you had an opportunity to look out in your windows or go outside and play and see all those beautiful trees and beautiful leaves on the trees and all the flowers and all the plants and all the animals. There's so many wonderful things that are around us that God made. Well, today we're going to talk about the plants and the trees. Now, I have this really cool, cool picture for you. Now, I want you to look at this tree. What a beautiful tree this is. To me, I mean, it's on a piece of paper, but to me, this tree is absolutely beautiful. And God took time to create this tree. Isn't that the greatest thing? I mean, making things with your hands is one thing, but when you start to think about how you want that thing made, that's what God did. He didn't just say, hey, I'm going to make a tree. No, look at all of the branches that go into this tree and it's all throughout the whole tree. All you have to do is go outside and look it up in a tree and see all the different ways. The branches just don't go boop, boop, boop. But no, there's so many little tiny branches. You go way up in there and they're holding. This tree actually blossoms into flowers and it's so pretty. Pretty. I just think this is the most unusual tree and so many places around the world. I don't care if you go on vacation and you see different trees. Sometimes they're big. Some I've been to places when I was a little girl, we went on vacation and we were taken to this forest and the trees were so big that we couldn't even get our arms around a little bit of the tree. They were so humongous. Yes, they were so, but to me, that's amazing that God, in his kindness to us, and you know what? Trees have been around forever. God said, let them, let him be, which means God created the trees, and then he spent time to make sure that they were perfect for us, and the reason why they were perfect was because they're still here. God saw that he made a beautiful tree. Isn't that great? I love that. I love this picture because it just really shows how pretty this tree is and how perfect God made this tree. I love that picture. Well, God made everything and trees are one of the things that God made. Now, trees just don't stand there and do nothing. But there are so many different things that you can get out of a tree. Did you know that you can get wood out of a tree? You can get sap, which means there's a liquid inside of some of those trees that you can get out of to actually make things out. Did you know that even this piece of paper was made out of wood of a tree? Go figure. Look how thin this is. How in the world did they get this little piece of, this little piece of paper? out of this tree. I don't know, but they sure did. And if you look around and you see your houses being built, those were all trees that, that, that came out of it. God, he just gave us, he gave people very smart minds to take those trees. And that's why God made them so that it, well, they weren't just for our enjoyment to see, but they were made, they were useful. You could use things. I love how God creates things and he, you can use them. That, that to me is really cool. I think that's so cool today. So there's nothing more beautiful than a tree direct, decked out with color, which is exactly what I showed you. And I love sitting under a, a tree. I love it when it's hot out and you just want to go sit and you just want to, you just want to sit under a pretty tree and get the shade that you have. Isn't that great? I love things like that, especially on a hot summer day, huh? And I'm sure that some of you have been nice and hot, but if you go under a tree that's got leaves on it, you'll be nice and cool down. So trees are heavy with fruit that makes our mouth water. Hmm. Oranges. Apple, an apple tree, pear trees, mm, 
there's quite a few th quite a few things that we can enjoy that actually tr uh, have fruit on them, don't they? I'm sure that if you start to think about it, you'd think a whole lot more than that. So, and you know what else is really cool that God made? He made flowers, elms and birch trees. Now I want to show you something else. This is a beautiful scene. Look at the mountain. Remember we talked about the sun. We talked about the sky. Look at the mountains behind that. And look at all those beautiful flowers. Doesn't that make our world beautiful? When you look at a picture like this, don't you wish you were up on that mountain and you were just looking across at that sunshine? Well, God made the flowers. Now, I was thinking of how God made the flowers and why God made, I, I love flowers. Now, that is, there isn't a mother in this world that doesn't wish your children could bring home a flower to you. You know what? And they have all sorts of wild flowers. When I was a little girl, I used to go and, and down my street on somebody's lawn, there was these little teeny tiny yellow flowers. Now I found out, I was probably maybe four, and I found out that I, my favorite color was yellow. And I used to call them buttercup flowers because you took the little yellow underneath your chin and you could see a little bit of yellow shade on your chin. And I just thought that was the coolest thing and I would always bring a flower home for my mom because she was sweet and I always loved to make her happy. So there's wild flowers and those were that was just a wild flower. That's how I found out that I really did love the color yellow. It's my favorite, favorite, favorite color. So God made beautiful fields of wild flowers blowing in the breeze and he made vegetable gardens with beans and corn and tomatoes and peppers and a forest of pines and oaks everything that looked beautiful and God made everything and you know what he made it for us he made it he made it not just for himself but he made everything about it for us every plant God had a reason to make it. Every vegetable, God had a reason for making it. Some plants are good to eat. Some are, they even used to make clothes. Now, I didn't get a chance to look up what you make clothes out of plants with, but that's one thing I'm going to look into. Trees give us many things. I think I already mentioned the wood, the sap, the rubber. Flowers are important to us. Did you know that the bees, if you, if you go and you watch a bee, it'll bzzz and it lands on top of a flower and it takes the pollen that's inside the flowers. Now here's a picture of some beautiful flowers. Now what happens is the bee lands on, see this flower right here? They land right there and they put their beak inside, I don't know if it's called a beak, but they put and they suck out the pollen that's inside that beautiful little flower. And what they can do is they take it back and they make, they make honey. How many likes honey? Mm -hmm. Me and me love honey. My favorite. So those are all such beautiful things that God created. He didn't just think about them and say, eh, I'm going to make it. But he created and he, he took the time to think about what he wants them to look like and how he wants to make them. And he, just like he did for us, he took the time for us too, didn't he? And I love God for that. And everything about it is the most beautiful thing. So when you go out and you look at a tree, you go out and you look at the flowers or you see vegetables in front of you, just know that God thought of us when he did and made all of those things. So God bless you, Tule. I love you. You go have a great day. And next time I'm on, I'm going to talk about water and what do we find in the water. Mm because God made that too, if you remember it. All right, we'll talk. Bye, I love you all. So like today, I'm not really certified to tell you what the holiday is because it's one that I can't really like identify with, but um, my friend can, because today it is National Left-Handed Day. Did you know that? National Left-Handed. Now, I personally am right-handed, but there is someone who is left-handed. I am left-handed. You know who else is left-handed, Lucy? Reverend Hamlin is also left-handed. Left-handers are awesome. 
Just saying. Left-handers are cool, so if you are left-handed, this day is just for you. And me, and everybody else who's left-handed. Bye! Hey guys, it's Lauren and Abby. Well, hi everyone. <laughs> We're gonna be asking you some questions. Lauren, I can't have this until we start. Children? Yes. Are we ready? We're ready. So okay. ready. Okay. Are square pizza slices better than triangles? No. 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 Because you don't get any crust. You know what? And there's nothing like that soft, doughy yeah. crust. So if the pizza has bad crust, then square is better. If the pizza has good crust, then no. Although there is sometimes something about that middle piece of cheese pizza at like a kid's birthday party mm. that it's just like all cheese. But most of the time, no. But that's never the first one you go for. That's like, no. okay, you've had a piece. You've, you've had, had two 17 pieces. pieces. You need a little bit more. I'm just, just going to go for bit. a square piece. But the triangle is so much better. So much better. I'm right. Yeah. Wow. Oh, actually, so you could have a square piece with a crust. Okay. No. I'm, I'm still going to stick with triangle. triangle. I'm still that's stick the way with it was intended to be from the beginning. <laughs> Can you ladies please introduce yourselves? Hi, I'm Lauren, back from sunny Florida. Hi, I'm Abby, and I'm back from the my house. <laughs> we're in our 60s now. Yes! Boy, it seems like just yesterday you, we were just in our 30s. Yesterday. I know, it's wow. so funny. My, how time's oh, passed. My, how gray we got. I tell you. <laughs> yes. And the reason... Oh. And the reason the reason why is because they conform to their taste better. Yeah, but you can't hold a square pizza slice easy. That corner piece gives you that thing you dip. Really? And you just pick it up. And really? Eat it. Yeah, that's really? a little easier. Little I think that's ridiculous. That way ridiculous. you don't dribble it all down yourself. That's the problem. I think that's ridiculous. You know, and when you get older, you have to worry about that stuff. So Talk don't... to the hand. <laughs> <laughs> I'd say the I'd say the corners are better. I say the squares. Do dogs dream? Yes. I have no clue. I know don't that care. as a fact. I don't actually care. I don't care either, but I still know it. So, yes. <laughs> yes, they do. Because I've had a dog. I agree with that. Thank you. They whine, it's a good they kick thing. their leg. About yep, time. They do. Man, Lauren. Next question. Are clowns funny or scary? I got excited. Uh, scary. I don't, I don't like clowns. I don't think they're funny, but I'm not really scared of them either. I just think they're kind of like, eh. I, I just know. feel, although I will say this, I do feel a little bit bad for clowns because I feel like they have been so negatively. Yeah, they um, got a bad rap. Represented. Represented over the years. Yeah. They're meant to be funny, but unfortunately they've taken on a scary and sad Portrayal. Yeah. That's my honest feelings about it. But yes, yeah, scary. I have no feelings about it. <laughs> I feel very strongly about it. <laughs> scary. scary. Never liked clowns. Yeah. I don't yeah. understand it. All that, you know. I just yeah. don't understand that. Faces. Mm -hmm. Next question. What animal would be scariest if they could speak? All right, so I know technically this isn't an animal. Then you can't say it. Well, I'm going to say it, and then I'll come up with an animal. A spider, because they're so tiny. They are an animal. They're not an animal. Yes, they they're are. They're an arachnid. Anyways. It's still an animal. It still falls under the animal umbrella. Animal kingdom. Um, I think spiders would be really scary, because they oh. could be talking, and you wouldn't know where they were coming from, because they're so tiny, so they're hiding. So that's, like, really scary. And then they could just scuttle out of the way. So I would not like talking spiders. I think another scary animal would be um, a lion or like a tiger. Actually, no. What do they call the tiger? Just a tiger. A tiger. I think they would be so scary. It's probably because I watched Lion King. Anyway, carry on. I think tigers would be less scary if they talked. I'd rather have it talking to me. They'd be so deceptive, though. I don't know. You don't know that much I about do. tigers. I do. I do. <laughs> Ooh. A Tyrannosaurus. Hmm. <laughs> I'm still thinking. It's going to take my mind a little time to catch up to that one. Um, 
probably the serpent. The serpent. <laughs> You know, any of them would be scary if they snake. could speak. If I heard any yeah. animal talk, it would be a little scary. <laughs> I think that mm. a snake definitely, um, because look at what the snake did. The serpent. Mm -hmm. Well, I think For if Adam any animal Eve. came up to me and said, hello, I'd take a hike. I'd take off running. Yeah, probably. You know, it would be a little too. strange, yeah. yeah. It would be a little weird. Thank you, Lauren. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Next question. Is ice cream better than cake? Yeah. Yes, I think so. I'm not yeah. a huge cake person. No. But there's something about an ice cream cone on a summer day. I would I could go for a vanilla cone with colorful sprinkles right now. Yeah, like you never like go for a walk outside or go to the beach and like, oh I wish I had some cake, but you're always like, I need some ice cream. So Thanks. I'm gonna go with ice cream. Mm -hmm. It like envelops the whole summer attitude and yeah, ice mm -hmm. cream. Yeah. Yes. I like them both. <laughs> ice cream's better. I don't know. I ice cream like... is a little healthier, too, because you don't get all that cholesterol and really? all that other stuff, and the ice cream is much. That sounds like that sounds like an Abbey. There's a dairy product going on there, so it's a little on. healthier. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, I think ice cream's but better. But I like the frosting yeah but you cake. can change ice and cream then and make it all different flavors put all kinds of toppings on it if you want and it makes it i like better. chocolate syrup i'd myself. say ice cream mm. i like them both okay. what can i say okay okay ab thanks 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 okay. lauren thanks <sighs> is cereal soup why or why not <gasps> yes it yeah. kind of is, but I want it, it to not be. Well, but it is. It's so gross thinking it's of a it. Liquid, it's a liquid, but it's a liquid mm -hmm. with substance inside of it that yep. you eat with a spoon. And then you drink the remains. Well, I don't do broth. that, but some people do that. You should drink your milk. That's a waste. I don't. It's kind of a waste. But, um, um so stop judging me, number one. <laughs> but yes, I do think it is a soup. And the reason why is if all other soups were hot, I would mm -hmm. say that being hot was, yeah, but, but they're, they're not. not. You have so, like gazpacho, is that what it's called? I don't know. I've sure. never had it. I don't want it, but it's a cold I've had soup. chilled soup before. Really? I don't know. I think so. Maybe I haven't. Anyway. Well, you have if you've had cereal. So. There you go. There I did. There you go. And I did last yes. night. Yes. Yes. Okay. No. No. Cereal is not soup. Of course, it could That's, be if you... Let that's, your milk sit long enough, and then you stir it up, and it gets all mushy. That's gross. I don't like. <laughs> I don't like cereal. People mushy. like it that way. <laughs> Last question: If peanut butter wasn't called peanut butter, what would it be called? Peanut spread, I guess. I know that's boring. It's so boring. It is boring, but that's what other things are called, like hazelnut spread or peanut jam. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm. Um, that just reminds me of when they they do the peanut butter and half of it is peanut butter and the other half is oh, jam. Oh, yeah. That came out when I was a kid. Or Encrustables. Well, that's a completely different thing. Well, it's it just it brings peanut up all those Peanut icing, numbers. maybe? Huh. Frosting? Oh. I don't know. Peanut love. Okay, that's weird. So. <laughs> You're going to edit that part out. That part's going to get edited out. Uh, peanut... I don't know. It's just been peanut butter. It's hard to. I think peanut spread. Yeah, that's, that's I'll agree with that. Boring, but it's, it's boring. practical. Yep. So, yeah. Peanut cream. Pudding. Lauren, where in the world do you get pudding Adam. out of peanut butter? Adam, it could be pudding. No. It's creamy like pudding. You no, stir it up enough and it could no, be pudding. Yeah. No. Oh, that's Ab. so nasty. Anyways. Bye, bye, bye. Bye, guys. Bye from Lauren and Abby. We'll see you in another 30 years. Hopefully. <laughs> <laughs>